Hi there. You know, I was watching a movie just a couple of days back and there was this young girl who climbed up a tree and refused to come down because the local forest department was planning to cut the tree down. And this young girl loved this tree. She used to climb up that tree every day to see where her school bus had reached in the neighborhood. So when the forest department decided to cut the tree and vacate the land for some other use, she was heartbroken. Have you ever felt so passionate about nature? I mean, even if just a character in a movie, I found it quite inspiring. Can you imagine what planet Earth would look like if we were to cut all the trees and all the animals went extinct too? Don't you think with all the green cover removed and all the diverse animals driven to extinction, the Earth would be a dull grey place? It would be like looking at the world in black and white. It surely would. And that is why we need to conserve the plants and animals living on this planet. Their presence helps maintain a balance in the ecosystem. And that is what we will be learning in this video. The importance of conservation of plants and animals. The earth is full of life. One is unaware about the upteen varieties of living organisms that exist on earth. There are innumerable microbes, plants and animals. There is a high chance that there could be varieties which are still unknown to man. The total number of life forms, that is all the varieties of living organisms that exist on earth is referred to as biodiversity. The word biodiversity is derived from bio, which means life, and diversity, which means variety. And biodiversity is of utmost importance because it helps maintain the balance in the ecosystem. But certain human activities have hampered biodiversity. Let us look at one such selfish act of man that is disturbing the scales of nature. Deforestation. It is basically the clearing of forests for making way for human activities and using that land for other purposes. There are many different natural causes for deforestation like drought and severe forest fire among others. The term deforestation thus describes the complete long-term removal of tree cover. The lost forest cover directly affects the climate and contributes to a loss of biodiversity. The economic activity is adversely affected by siltation, flooding, soil degradation and reduced timber supplies and thus in turn threatens the livelihood of people. Forests are not only sources of livelihood for communities living in close proximity to them, but they first and foremost are home to a diverse bunch of wildlife. Forests are important for the survival of life on Earth's surface. Like I just said, they provide shelter to a large variety of animals. Trees take up carbon dioxide and release oxygen during photosynthesis. Thus, trees help in maintaining a balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. What's more, the forest provides firewood, kindu leaves, lac, timber, etc., especially to tribal people. Forests help in precipitation of water and also prevent soil erosion which may happen due to flood and wind and thus helps in improving soil fertility. Forest cover also helps in the natural recharge of groundwater. So, if there are so many advantages, why has mankind not taken care of the forest cover and been so careless about it? Well, Mankind has been selfish. To take care of its more materialistic needs and to prosper, it has permanently removed forest cover in order to use land for other purposes. Let me list a few reasons for deforestation. First, 
rapid urban development. Second, agriculture related activities. Third, for procuring land for cultivation. Fourth, to build houses and factories. Fifth, using the wood obtained from the trees for making furniture or as a fuel. Also, if farming activities were carried out on these covers, there also had to be a patch where cattle could graze. Hence, cattle grazing also contributed to deforestation. And lastly, forest cover was cleared to build roads, highways, railways, dams, etc. Basically, to develop infrastructure. As forest cover depleted, it had several direct positive impacts on the lives of the people, but it also hampered the environment. Like always, there are two sides to this coin too. So let us now look at the consequences of deforestation. Deforestation has surely opened up several avenues for people. It has made it possible for communities to be built, and it has made way for residential houses, office buildings and factories. Also, governments are able to build roads to make trade and transport easier and this only makes the lives of the residents easier. Deforestation can also mean the conversion of forest land to productive land for agricultural uses. But like I said, although these are positives that are just listed, the negative consequences of a deforestation win by a landslide. Let me now list the negatives of deforestation and you will see for yourself how destructive this activity has been. One of the reasons why deforestation is done is to use the land for agricultural purposes. But most of the area that has undergone deforestation is unsuitable for long-term agricultural use such as ranching and farming. The soil in many deforested areas is also unsuitable for supporting annual crops. Once a stretch of land is ripped off its forest cover, it starts degrading rapidly in terms of quality, fertility and arability. The second factor is exposure to heat and rain. Heavy rainfall and extreme sunlight quickly damage the topsoil in clearings of tropical rainforests. In such circumstances, the forest will take much longer to regenerate and the land will not be suitable for agricultural use for quite some time. And the third downslide is flooding. Trees are highly effective in absorbing considerable quantities of water, which helps to keep the amount of water in watersheds to a manageable level. The forest also serves as a cover against erosion. Once the green cover is gone, water which is otherwise held together by the roots will not be retained and will move out through downstream flooding, which can then cause some other natural disasters. And this directly hampers the economic viability of many businesses and causes high fertilities of wildlife population. So let's take a break here and meet in the next segment to know more about the factors that affect the environment and why it is so essential to maintain the ecological balance. So join me in the next segment where we continue learning about why conservation of plants and animals is important. Bye for now. See you soon. Tutor me for more amazing video lectures. Download the free app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.